Hi there, I'm John Weber and I'm here to show you a quick demonstration of over-the-air updates using Mender.io. Mender.io is a service that it provides, as you guessed it, over-the-air updates. What does over-the-air mean? OTA, in simpler terms, means sending software updates to connected devices. The OTA service consists of a client that has to run on the device and a server that typically runs in the cloud. The server allows you to easily upload and manage releases of software for your devices. The client application running on the target communicates with the server to check for new updates, downloads them, and then executes the update itself robustly. This means that if at any point the update fails, the device recovers to its previously known good state, which helps you to ensure that the device can communicate and still be managed. At Techniction, we and our customers use Yocto to build their embedded Linux distributions and Mender.io integrates relatively easily into our Yocto metadata. So for this demo, I'm going to show you a simple use case. First, I'm going to load an image into the unit, a PicoPi IMX 8M mini kit. This image is built using the normal default Mender integration and has a Mender splash screen when the Linux system boots. I want to change that logo to a Technection logo, so I've built an update called an artifact in Mender terminology, which is just a specially packaged image. I'm going to upload that to the Mender server and make a deployment out of it. That deployment will update the software and then reboot the board, and you should see the Technection logo on the splash screen. It's just a quick example of what you can do, and Mender has a ton of capabilities which you can read about on their website, and I definitely encourage you to do that. So let's get to the demo. Okay, so what you see right here is the Pico Pi IMX 8M mini kit right here, which I'm pointing to with my finger. And you're also seeing a Linux desktop here. And I've already connected to the serial port on the IMX 8M mini kit here. I'm just going to go ahead and update the software using UMS, which I think is pretty easy. So right here I'm doing is I'm saying I want to take the EMMC that's on the Pico Pi IMX 8 and Mini or the Pico IMX 8 and Mini module, um, and I want to, which is in uh, device two, MMC device two, and I want to export that to USB zero as a mass storage device. So I'm gonna go ahead and run that. So once that's done, I should see a bunch of things pop up. And I'm gonna use Belena Etcher, which I find to be a really nice tool for updating software. So I'm gonna go ahead and find my file. And this is gonna be the initial image. So I have it here under Mender Demo up here to releases. And this is the first release. So this is the full SD card image file. I'm gonna get OK. And then I select the target and then flash. And I have to enter my password. The flashing is gonna take a little while, so we're gonna go ahead and fast forward through this process. Okay, so now we're done. Uh, the flash is complete, so this is what you'll see on Etcher when you're done. We're gonna go ahead and exit out right now, and then we'll see here that UMS is still running until you cancel it. So just control C out of that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and reboot the board now. So you'll see, hopefully, Everything worked out well. You can see, go ahead and we'll reboot it. And if you're still looking at the Linux console, you'll see the boot messages start scrolling across the screen. And then we should see the four penguins. Yay! Okay, and now we see the Mender splash screen. So this is the initial release image, the first image that I'm going to show you. And I'm going to upload another release now, which is going to change that logo. So we're going to go ahead and start that process. I already have the Mender website brought up, which you can see here is hosted.mender.io. You can go ahead and log in, uh, or you actually need to create a login, but you once you've created a login, you can use the GitHub login, if you use GitHub or Google, if you use Google, or you can just use your email address and password, and you can create a new account here with the uh, sign up here link. But I'm signed in with GitHub, so I'm gonna go ahead and just do that. So you can see right now that I have a pending device. This device is already talked out to the Mender cloud server and it is pending um, acceptance. So it needs to be accepted. And I'm gonna go ahead and accept the device. So I'm at release one right now, you can see that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and upload another release that's going to change this upload an artifact Let's see browse and so this other artifact that i'm going to upload is the pico imx 8 mm release 2 
And the artifact suffix, the last uh, bit of the artifact name here is dot mender. Um, if you're just running a normal image, that is the dot bz2 file. This is just the dot mender file. That's the artifact. So go ahead and open that up and we're going to upload that and that's going to take some additional time. So we're going to fast forward through this one as well. So stay tuned. Okay, so now I have successfully uploaded that artifact in the releases area here, and I want to go ahead and create a deployment with this release. So I'm gonna click the button, and this is compatible with my device type, which is Pico MX8MM, and I'm gonna deploy it to all devices. If you have a lot of devices, or more than one in this case, you just have one, um, you can assemble the devices into different groups, which lets you do things like A and B updates, or it lets you update certain groups earlier or later than other groups, lets you schedule things. So that can be very useful for you. Um, but uh, in this case, you just have one device. So I'm going to click all devices here that will be updated. Um, I'm going to have that start immediately, but you can schedule that to start at a certain date and time. Um, I don't care for it to retry, but you can have it retry up to three times if it fails. And then this is just going to be a single phase rollout pattern. So I'm going to go ahead and click next. And this is going to go ahead and create the deployment. So this is pending. And what we're going to see here once uh, this actually executes, um, about the only thing you'll see is all of a sudden you'll see the device reboot. <laughs> You really won't see much of anything else in this uh, in the device um, occur until at some point in time it has already completed the update and is rebooting. There it goes. So it's rebooting, and if I'm successful, we should see the Technection logo here on the screen. So let's just check it out. I see the four penguins. That's great. And there's the Technection logo. So that shows you a successful device update with Mender.io. And again, I think that this is just scratching the surface of what you can do with Mender. You can create artifacts that are just applications. You can create artifacts that are updates of just certain files uh, in the file system. For example, if you want to change a certificate or a key of some sort or just configuration files, you can assemble certain files into a special persistent data area so that that data is uh, not changed from update to update. It remains persistent. So again, a ton of stuff that you can do um, with this capability. We're very happy to be partnered with Mender.io for their over the year update service. With that, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and conclude this demo. I'm John Weber, uh, thanks for watching.